Why did the country go broke? Because it ran out of capital. Jokes aside, let's dive into a less funny but important topic. Poverty, a word we often hear but seldom grasp the gravity of. Today, we'll embark on a journey, a poverty tour if you will. We're going to examine the 10 poorest countries in the world as of 2024. Poverty isn't just about an empty wallet. It's a complex tapestry woven from threads of economic instability, political unrest, lack of education, and scarce resources. It's a cycle that can be difficult to break, and these 10 countries we'll explore are living proof. We'll delve into the factors that contribute to their present state. We'll look beyond the GDP figures and the economic jargon and try to understand the human stories that lie beneath. Stories of resilience, of struggle and of hope. So buckle up as we take a poverty tour around the globe. Our first stop is a place where the national bird is the lone hawk. Guess which country? Well, we're in a place where people are so resourceful they can make a meal out of a stone soup. Yes. We're talking about a country where the economy has seen better days. Now, don't get me wrong, this place is rich in culture, heritage and natural beauty that can make anyone's heart skip a beat. But when it comes to the economic situation, it's like a roller coaster ride without the fun. Here, the most popular sport isn't soccer or cricket. It's the survival race. Every day, people are running, hustling, trying to make ends meet. And the unique challenges they face, like trying to bathe an elephant in a bathtub. But did you know this country has the highest number of left-handers in the world? How's that for a fun fact? But hey, at least they've got the best poverty. On to the next one. Next, we have a country where the national animal could be the penny pincher. Now, this is a place where the locals have turned frugality into a fine art. Not because they're stingy, heavens no, it's simply a response to the economic situation. They've learned to make the most out of the least, a skill many of us could benefit from. This country, despite its financial challenges, is a treasure trove of cultural richness. From its vibrant festivals to its mouth-watering cuisine, it's a place that celebrates life in all its colors. Now here's a fun fact. Did you know that in this country, people greet each other by asking, have you eaten yet? Instead of the usual, how are you? Talk about priorities, right? Remember, it's not about how much you have, it's about how much you can laugh about it. Moving on, we have a place where the most popular game is hide and seek with prosperity. Our third stop takes us to a country where the economy is as stable as a house of cards in a hurricane. With a GDP that's seen more dips than a salsa party, their economic situation is a roller coaster ride without the fun. The unique challenge here. Their chief export is dust. Yes, you heard right, dust. If you ever wondered where your dust bunnies came from, well, now you know. But don't be too quick to judge. This place is brimming with cultural richness. They have a fascinating tradition of singing their national anthem backwards during a full moon. Talk about a moonwalk. And their people, oh, their people, they're as resilient as they come. With a humor that's as infectious as a viral cat video, they can laugh off any adversity. Well, they say laughter is the best medicine, maybe it can cure poverty too. Next up, a country where inflation is not a physics term, but a daily reality. Let's journey to a land where the economy has seen better days, and the currency is more volatile than a soda can shaken on a roller coaster. This place, my friends, is where budgeting is not just a skill, it's a survival tactic. The unique challenges faced by this country are as diverse as its rich cultural heritage. From managing scarce resources to dealing with infrastructure issues, it's like playing a real-life game of survival. But don't let that fool you, this place also has its share of fun. Did you know that despite the economic hardship, they have a thriving music scene? And not just any music, we're talking foot-tapping, hip-swaying beats that can get a statue dancer. Talk about turning adversity into art. But hey, who needs money when you have, um, well, let's move on. We've reached the halfway mark and up next is a place where broke is the new rich. Welcome to our fifth stop, a country where wallets might be lighter, but spirits are certainly high. Here, the economy is a little like a roller coaster without the safety bars. Thrilling, unpredictable and perhaps a tad scary. But isn't that what makes life interesting? Now this country isn't just about the economic ups and downs. There's a richness here that can't be equated with dollar signs. Its unique culture, vibrant traditions and warm-hearted people are the real treasures. Did you know that this country is home to the world's smallest frog or that it has more than a hundred different words for rain? 
sure the economic challenges here are real and they're tough. But this country's spirit is tougher. It's a place where the people smile, not because they have everything, but because they appreciate everything they have. But hey, they say money can't buy happiness, but it can buy a jet ski. Have you ever seen a sad person on a jet ski? And we continue our journey through the land of empty pockets and full hearts. As we venture further on our journey, let's take a moment to appreciate the resilience and spirit of these countries. They may be economically challenged, but they're rich in culture, human spirit and potential. Our sixth stop is the vibrant country of Haiti. Despite being the poorest country in the Americas, Haiti is a land of color and spirit. Its economy might be struggling, but it's a powerhouse of art and music. From their vibrant carnival to their unique voodoo culture, Haiti is a feast for the senses. Did you know that Haiti was the first country in the world to abolish slavery? Now that's a fun fact to share at your next dinner party. Next, we journey to Mozambique. This southeastern African country has been hard hit by decades of civil war and natural disaster. But amidst these challenges, Mozambique has something that money can't buy. A stunning coastline that's a paradise for water sports enthusiasts. And here's a fun fact. Mozambique's flag is the only national flag in the world that features a modern assault rifle, symbolizing defense and vigilance. Our eighth stop is the Democratic Republic of Congo. With an economy heavily impacted by conflict and corruption, this Central African nation faces significant challenges. But let's not forget the country's rich natural resources, including the Congo rainforest, the second largest rainforest in the world. And for the trivia buffs, how about this? The Congo River is the deepest river in the world. Our penultimate stop is Burundi. This small landlocked country in East Africa has been affected by political instability and social unrest. But despite these challenges, Burundi has a vibrant cultural scene, with traditional drumming being a significant part of the country's identity. And here's a fun fact. Burundi's national motto is Ubumwe Ibikorwa Iterambe, which means unity, work, progress. Finally, we arrive at our last stop, the Central African Republic. Despite being one of the world's poorest countries, it's a place of extraordinary natural beauty. It's home to a vast array of wildlife, including elephants, leopards and a multitude of bird species. And, for a little nugget of knowledge, the country's name in Sango, one of the national languages, is Kodoro Sese Tibi Africa, which, let's be honest, is a lot more fun to say than Central African Republic. And that's a wrap. Remember, it's not about the wealth of the wallet, but the wealth of the spirit. So, there you have it, folks. The top 10 poorest countries in 2024. It's been quite the journey, hasn't it? We've hopped across continents, dived into cultures, and even attempted to decipher economic jargon. Just a quick recap, in case you missed a stop or two while laughing at my brilliant jokes. We started off in Africa, then took a detour to Asia, did a quick salsa in South America and ended our journey in Europe. We've seen challenges and hardships, but also immense potential and resilience. But remember, the wealth of a nation isn't just about GDP and economic indicators. It's also about the richness of its culture, the strength of its people and yes, the quality of its humor. And remember, the only thing we should be poor in is poor jokes. Until next time, keep laughing and learning.